Hi there and welcome to a measurement video on the units of length. The basic units, unit of length is the meter and we have some common variations of course that you'll be aware of. We have the kilometer if you multiply um, meters by a thousand you get a kilometer. If you divide a meter by a hundred you get a centimeter and if you divide a meter by a thousand you get a millimeter so we're used to using these uh, measurements of length every day so we should be pretty familiar with them now one centimeter will equal 10 millimeters you're probably used to these as well one meter has a hundred centimeters in it and each kilometer has a thousand meters in it now so when we convert between meters and centimeters and change the number we have a conversion rate so if uh, one centimeter contains 10 millimeters we'd say the conversion rate between centimeters and millimeters is 10. now with that conversion rate depending on the direction we're going whether we're converting centimeters into millimeters or millimeters back into centimeters we will we will be either multiplying by 10 or dividing by 10. With the conversion rate between meters and centimeters, there's 100 centimeters in each meter. But depending on whether we're moving from meters and turning it into centimeters or vice versa, we'll, we'll, we will be either multiplying or dividing by 100. And working with kilometers and meters, there's the conversion rate of 1,000 there. We'll either be multiplying or dividing a number by 1,000 to convert from kilometers to meters or vice versa. So we'll have to be careful to get, a, get really methodical about how we convert one unit of length to another, and we'll see that in the rest of this video. <clears throat> now, there are certain conversion rules, and this is an interesting one. It's a, it works a bit opposite to what you think here. If you're converting to smaller units, going from a big unit to a smaller unit, you actually multiply by the conversion rate. If you can imagine a meter, one meter ruler, and you chopped it up into centimeters, you get a hundred of the centimeters because uh, each of the smaller units, there's more of them in a gi given distance. So uh, it's a bit upside down. If you're converting to smaller units, you expect a bigger number. And that's, uh, that's part of the reason why we multiply by the conversion rate. If we're converting into larger units, we'll be dividing by the conversion rate. But we'll do lots of examples, so we'll get used to those ideas. Okay, so we'll keep those the conversion rates up the top there to refer to, and those two rules. If we're converting to smaller units, we'll multiply. If we're converting to larger units, we'll divide. So we'll have them handy, ready for our uh, questions. And we're also going to have a look at a whole bunch of uh, things to help us uh, work through these examples. We'll have a think about which conversion rate applies, depending on which units we're working with. We'll also ask ourselves whether we're converting into smaller or larger units, and that'll tell us whether we should multiply or divide by the conversion rates to get our answer. So let's have a look at the first example here. 3.72 centimeters. We want to turn centimeters, that, that amount of centimeters, into the appropriate number of millimeters. Now, centimeters is a bigger unit than millimeters, so we're actually converting into a smaller unit and we'll see how that pans out as we think it through. The conversion rate between centimeters and millimeters, you can see up the top here, between centimeters and millimeters has a conversion rate of 10, so let's establish that. And as I said, we're converting from centimeters to millimeters, so we're actually converting to a smaller unit. Now, up the top here, we've got our rules here. If we're converting to smaller units, we will be multiplying by the conversion rate. And we said the conversion rate from step one is 10, so we'll be multiplying by 10. So when we multiply 3.72 by 10, there's a shortcut way. We could check on our calculator, of course, but there's a shortcut way. When we're multiplying by 10, we move the decimal point one, one place to the right for each zero that we're multiplying by in that uh, 10, 100, or 1,000. So we'll be moving that decimal point one place across to the right, or checking on our calculator, <laughs> and uh, we'll get a number of 37.2. So there's a lot of things to think about there, but we'll think about them each step of the way. So we got 37.2 millimeters uh, for 3.72 centimeters. So we've converted centimeters into millimeters nice and carefully there. Let's have a look at another example. 
We want to know how many centimetres in 45.7 millimetres. This time we're moving, we're converting into centimetres, which will be a bigger unit, but we'll keep that in mind. Once again, the conversion rate between centimetres and millimetres is 10. We're converting into centimetres instead of millimetres, so that's a larger unit. So when we're converting into larger units, let's check with the conversion rules up the top. If we're converting into larger units, we'll be dividing by that conversion rate. Uh, the conversion rate was 10. So we'll be dividing our number by 10. When we divide by 10, the shortcut is we move the decimal point one place to the left. But we can always check on our calculator. So we'll get a number of 4.57. So we've converted 45.7 millimetres into 4.57 centimetres. Next example, we're working with metres and centimetres here. We're given a certain number of metres and we're turning them into a certain number of centimetres. Can you see that we are going, we're converting metres into centimetres, we're converting to smaller units there. But let's first just check, what's the conversion rate between metres and centimetres? Up the top here we have a conversion rate of 100 for metres and centimetres. So we'll put a box around the 100. As we said, uh, we already thought about this bit, we're converting to smaller units. So when we convert to smaller units, we will be multiplying by the conversion rate of 100. When we multiply by 100, we move the decimal place two places to the right, if we're doing it in our heads, or if we're doing it on the calculator even. 52.3 uh, will be the number of centimetres in 0.523 metres. A lot to think about each uh, in each conversion here, but if we do think if we think about only one bit at a time, we should have some success. So 0.523 meters is equivalent to 52.3 centimeters. We're converting meters and centimeters again here, but we're converting from centimeters to meters. So I think we might be going into a larger unit here. The conversion rate between meters and centimeters, obviously, as we saw in the last example, was 100. We're converting it into larger units, so we will be dividing by that 100. And when we divide by 100, we move the decimal point two places to the left, if we're doing it in our heads, or we type it into our calculator and let it do it for us. And our answer here is 3.456 metres. So we converted centimetres into metres there. And another example, we're working with kilometres and metres here now, so our conversion rate is our third one there, a thousand metres in each kilometre, so that's our conversion rate. We're converting from kilometres into metres, so I think you can tell that that would probably be converting to smaller units. When we convert for, to a smaller unit, we multiply by the conversion rate. Our conversion rate was a thousand. When we multiply by a thousand, can you remember how many moves I'll make with the decimal place, the decimal point. I'll move it three places to the right. So we'll end up with uh, 3.257 kilometres being equivalent to 3,257 metres. And one last example here, we're converting metres into kilometres. Our conversion rate will once again be a thousand when we're working with kilometres and metres. We're converting it into kilometres from metres, so we're certainly converting that into a larger unit. When you convert into a larger unit, you divide by the thousand. So our number is going to get smaller here. We're going to move the decimal point, which actually is uh, invisible, at the end of that number there. It's almost like we could think of it as 4,200 point zero zero or whatever. So if we're dividing by a thousand we'll move that decimal point that's actually sitting at the end there uh, three places to the left or we can always check on the calculator. Those calculators come in handy there. Now you notice if I've moved that decimal point that's invisible at the end of 4200 three places to the left um, it'll be the decimal point will be between the four and the two. So I've written that there. Notice I didn't actually have to put in those last two zeros that were in the original number, because zeros at the end of the decimal um, number don't necessarily have to be written in. So we got 4.2 kilometers out of 4,200 meters. So there's quite a lot of um, steps to our each conversion here, but if we think of those steps one at a time, 
we should be able to get the hang of it eventually even if we have to watch the video over a couple of times here that's fine too no worries there all right let's recap we had three uh, sets of conversions that are common one centimeter has 10 millimeters in it each meter has a hundred centimeters in it and each kilometer has a thousand meters in it there are other conversions we could make as well but they're the ones we'll stick to for this video so there's a the conversion rate now we'll either be multiplying or dividing by that depending on the direction we're going whether we're converting from one to the other or back again we had those conversion rules which kind of were a bit upside down if we're converting to a smaller unit our number actually gets bigger because we multiply by the conversion rate when we're converting to larger units the number of those larger units we have will get smaller because we're dividing by the conversion rate a bit like up upside down land there opposite land and we had a few things to think about there we first thought about uh, our conversion rate and then we thought about uh, whether we're converting into smaller or larger units whether we're multiplying or dividing by the conversion rate and then we often moved the decimal point in a certain direction or checked on our calculator now uh, we've got uh, when we're thinking about kilometers meters centimeters and millimeters they're all the units that actually appear in those uh, conversions up the top there we've got a handy little diagram here that you can uh, think of you could even even probably almost memorize some of these conversions here but let's run through them and you might like to copy this diagram out once we piece it together here to move from kilometers to meters we will be multiplying by a thousand and if we're going from meters and converting them back to kilometers we'll be doing the opposite we'll be dividing by a thousand to go from meters to centimeters we'll be multiplying by a hundred that's the conversion rate between centimeters and meters if we're converting a certain number of centimeters back to meters we'll be doing the opposite dividing by a hundred this time if we're converting a certain number of centimeters to millimeters we'll be multiplying by 10 and to convert millimeters back into centimeters will be dividing by 10 so that's a handy little guide there that diagram would be worth copying out and keeping safe somewhere because that sums up all the conversion rates and it also illustrates whether we multiply by those conversion rates or divide by the conversion rates On, across the top here each time we go to the right from left to right here we're converting to smaller units that's why we're multiplying and as we move from right to left we're converting to larger units and we'll be dividing so that that diagram really illustrates our conversion rules quite nicely so there's a quite a lot quite a lot to think about there getting used to the different conversions and whether we multiply or divide by that conversion rate each time so you got to keep your wits about you but uh, once we get the hang of that if we get enough practice we should be getting more and more confident with converting one unit of length into another thanks a lot for listening we'll uh, have a look at some more measurement videos soon but that was units of uh, length in that video hope that helps and of course for all your maths needs there's plenty of videos to help you improve your skills in mathematics at peterblakemaths.com we'll catch you next time bye bye